So we were all great to be fair and we didn't think we were going to win it because there were a lot of people yeah. a lot of good acts and then they said we did which was great shocked. which is shocked yeah shocked. Yeah, yeah really shocked so yeah. no, really, do, doing really good stuff for us so no, it's been great yeah because a good prizes yeah 500 quid in cash yes <laughs> for two songs which in bad and other things isn't it Okay, and, and other things. <laughs> and other things. No, we've got loads of, we've got like studio time out of it and obviously doing stuff with you guys and other people that are involved in like the Nottingham music scene so it's been really good for us as well to kind of get into that scene because, you know, up until October time we didn't realise how vibrant it was and how many, you know, how many really talented people were in Nottingham. So, it's quite something right now. Yeah, yeah, it's great. You said that well better than what I said. Well done. But you got to put it in the bank through this. That's got to be good. Well, you're on also, people's radar through yeah, this competition. Yeah, exactly. It's good because we've only been going for such a short amount of time. Um, and to like, get the likes and follow we've got on Twitter and Facebook in such a short amount of time is great for us. Especially with this, yeah, like you said, the scene itself is doing so well. It's an ideal time for artists like us to really push it. Yeah. And especially when there's so many people helping to push the scene, so many like, companies and promoters that it really does help. It really is. It's hopefully going to go really well. Yes. That's the thing, because we go for five months, but you actually you did play together in a band for quite a while. Yeah, this project. we're in a, a previous band called Patch and Grace for a, well, I were in it for like a year and a half. You were in it for pretty much seven years. Seven years. Yeah, for a lot longer. Yeah. Our own bands previously to that, but not Patch Trying to commit to the cause. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it just got to the point where, you know, everyone 
when there's four people involved as well and everyone's got really different opinions and everyone's got different musical tastes and things like that and um, it just kind of fell on that everyone wanted to do different things and you know go to uni and start different projects so so it was a perfect it's kind of a right to start one as well yeah yeah exactly so we just sold everything we had sold your car everything yeah, yeah. everything to like afford equipment to record Love it. so yeah so the commitment and the cars are there <laughs> and then I managed to afford like a mixer, new laptop which you could record on, then just started recording his like, like, and then Five months later you were yeah. not back to come yeah, exactly. on! Yes. Yes. So much so much 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 Too good for this baby I'm nothing and no one You're the best to forget me When I wake up, shake me I'm no good to no one You're the best to forget me Too good for this baby I'm nothing and no one You're the best to forget me When I wake up, shake me I'm no good to no one You're the best to forget me Um, and that's on the 2nd of December, hopefully everything's going to come to plan then. 
um, for a brand new song that no one's ever heard, so we're keeping that under wraps. Yeah, I've never played it live yet, I have a song. It's going to be a super secret. If you um, told me that earlier, I would have got it out of you. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to play it yet without actually practicing. <laughs> but it yeah, is that so we've but. got that coming up, and you know, hopefully that will take us even further with it because we haven't as yet released anything. Um, and yeah, we've got some really good gigs coming up at like the Bodega and the Rescue Rooms and things like that. So it's it's all going really well for us. And like like you say, with the old band, um, that was just the case of like gig everywhere, tour constantly from like Glasgow to Brighton. It was like ridiculous how much time you spent travelling and how much money it cost. So we've tried to be a bit more sensible with the years <laughs> of what's gone by, so There's now we're just kind of... Music, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can concentrate more on the more important things. Because like, you can do so much on the internet now. It's not really needed to talk around. Cause you've got YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Everyone can see what you're doing without trailing out. And no one's got any money, so no one goes to see it. <laughs> That's it, they're all going to be sat at home, isn't Yeah, it? exactly. So it's easier to contact people through that, which is the way we've been doing it, just like talking to people through like social media and stuff. And it's really helped, like, really boost us up. It's just a short amount of time. So this thing, are you going to use that recording time you've been given to do that? Yeah, well, the, we've already got it recorded at the moment, but because we mix it and master it ourselves, the studio time we're going to use is to get, uh, to get like, remixed and remastered to, like, boost it up. So and we're going to the studio tomorrow to do that. So we're uh, looking forward to doing it. As we recorded it all, so we've got all the stems there. We just need it, like, polishing over yeah. a little bit, making it sound a bit neater. Yeah, put that shiny gloss finish on it, which hopefully we can get tomorrow. And then after the single? After the the, yeah, after the single. That's a bloody good answer. Yeah, the, the world. Yeah. yeah, hopefully after the single, create more of a buzz, maybe a short tour around the key cities, um, and then hopefully record for another single or like an album later on, seeing how things go. Yeah. Seeing if people like it first. Yeah. Might put it out and people might hate it. Hopefully not. That's so That's so suck. <laughs> it's the greatest thing we've ever done. Yeah, so like, oh, people are saying I think it's crap. It's not, it's great. Just to fill out there. Okay. <laughs> anything else you guys want to say? Because believe it or not, we've been about seven minutes. Is there anything else you want to get across the phone? Um. Well, you can visit us on onegirlonebody.com. And that says everything that you'd ever want to know, basically, mm. about us and what we're doing and what we're, where we're playing. I'm guessing if you were talking to a band and they said, should I do not select them? I'd say, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, definitely, because yeah. I think Tony mentioned that hopefully this is going to be an annual thing now and every year they're going to do it, so yeah, if you're in a band, do it, because it, it's great. Yeah, I'd definitely say do it, because the amount of things it's just throws at you, which you won't be able to get normally. Um, is amazing. Just definitely. being in the finals, great exposure for everyone. Yeah, yeah, exactly, definitely. exactly, that's been tweeted around everywhere and it still has it's done as great, so yeah, definitely to anybody to do it. Wicked. Well, very worthy winners. Really, no, really thank you for having us here. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Thanks for having us.
Dankeschön.